Call them whatever you want. Bug out guns, pocket rifles, get home guns, survival rifles. If you ever need one, you'll be damn glad to have it. There are a variety of them available and all come close to the same principle. Each is a lightweight packable gun that'll help you kill your next meal and protect yourself in a survival situation. Let's go through what I deem a true survival rifle and my top picks to get you out of trouble. So keep watching. TNW Aero Survival Rifle LTE A semi-automatic AR-type PCC that breaks down with ease and weighs less than 4 pounds? Well, yeah, it exists and comes from a little company called TNW Firearms. They've been producing takedown carbines in various calibers for years, but the Aero Survival LTE series reduces the weight to a light 3.95 pounds. With it, you get a Glock magazine-fed, lightweight takedown semi-automatic carbine with a 16-inch barrel. It's plain and stripped of everything but the basics. However, it'll launch 9mm pills fast and hard. When used with 147 grain JHPs, you have a weapon that can take medium-sized game at close range. The semi-auto design allows for fast follow-up shots which can be invaluable, and very few lightweight survival rifles offer that capability. Shooters get a nice optic rail and an M-lock handguard, but that handguard is extremely short with just a few M-lock slots. After adding an optic or light, you can still walk away with a weapon weighing less than 6 pounds. It breaks down into two 17 and a quarter inch size components for easy storage and carrying. Grab a few extended Glock mags and you'll be set for most threats inside 100 yards. Keltec Sub CQB Integrally suppressed carbines are nothing new. However, this quiet little shooter is the first one that folds in half. Like its predecessors, the Sub CQB offers compact storage and superior pistol caliber firepower. However, this one is Hollywood quiet when paired with subsonic ammo. In a home defense or survival scenario, you need the upper hand, and that's exactly what this variation of the Sub 2000 offers. When paired with a light and optic, it's a recipe for success should that bump in the night be an uninvited bad guy. By this point, you might be wondering how to fold this thing with an optic in place. The answer? It features a rotating barrel shroud. Simply pull up on the locking tab and rotate the handguard 90 degrees. Then fold the gun just like a standard Sub-2000. The barrel and suppressor are one unit, made in-house. The baffles are shrouded by a rotating handguard and locked in by a removable end cap. This design allows for easy and thorough cleaning and reassembly. This gun isn't meant to be ergonomic. It's meant to be stuffed in a backpack and hauled out if something goes terribly wrong on your outing. It gets the job done, but it isn't a custom-fitted rifle. You can obviously wring more potential out of it with some good upgrades, but that's the genius. You're getting a foldable rifle for less than many popular pistols. With those savings, it's cheaper and easier to chip away at upgrading where you think it makes the most sense. The end result? Upgraded or not is a packable quality shooter. The Fold R Just like handguns, AR pistol manufacturers have been trying to figure out how to make their guns smaller and more compact for years now. One company took compact to a whole new level and may very well be changing the way we look at AR pistols again. The company is Fold AR. As far as odd AR-15s go, this may be the oddest. The company is currently offering its designs in a bifold pistol configuration as well as a single fold rifle configuration. Both come offered in 223 or 556 or 300 blackout configurations. The pistol looks pretty much like any other AR pistol during firing, but it folds down to just over 10 inches in total length and fits right into a tiny sling style backpack for deep concealment and simple transportation. The pistol features a modified and shortened bolt carrier group to accommodate the folding abilities of the brace. I know what you're thinking. Does it run? The answer is simple. Hell yeah, it runs. Ruger 1022 Takedown The Ruger 1022 is without a doubt the most popular rimfire rifle ever. It's been made in the millions since the 1960s and is the standard for semi-auto 22 LRs. It weighs only 4.6 pounds in its factory configuration and skates right under my 5-pound limit. As a semi-auto 22 lr rifle, the gun is very easy to handle, and you can quickly dump rounds into a target. 
This makes it a bit more capable of taking on larger, dangerous animals. Admittedly, I'd want something bigger, but 10 rounds of 22 LR should cause enough pain compliance for a lot of animals to change their mind. 1022 takedown also comes with a carrying case, which is nice, but it's also easy to pack into a bag on its own. You can find magazines for the Ruger 1022 that can hold 10, 15, 25, even up to 110 rounds in a drum. The takedown and assembly procedure is straightforward and quick. Its stainless steel parts are rust resistant and very easy to clean, which is convenient for a survival rifle. It's easy to tailor to your needs and is ultimately a gun you won't regret buying. If you choose the Ruger 1022 takedown as your survival rifle, it can double as a great plinking gun. Of course, you could choose any of the Ruger 1022 models and still be decently equipped. Keltec RDBS First, Keltec introduced the RDB, a conventional rifle with a pistol grip. Then came the RDBC, a sci fi looking gripless variant which proved remarkably ergonomic for precision shooting. As an encore, the company released the Keltec RDBS Survival Carbine, which one ups the unconventional design of the RDBC with an adjustable length of pull, distinctive flip up sights, and is even lighter than the already slim RDBC and stows away into smaller places. The RDBS is compatible with all standard AR-15 magazines on the market. In another win for ambidexterity, the non-reciprocating charging handle may be swapped from side to side. The sight radius is similar to the M4-style carbine, so fans of the AR-15 won't notice much of a difference in offhand accuracy when shooting the RDBS. The overall length of the Keltec RDBS survival carbine is around 24 and a half inches with the stock collapsed. The 5 pound weight and centered balance point make one handed control possible, which adds to the emergency readiness aspect of the gun. Overall, the RDBS is a reliable, comfortable carbine that fits easily into a survival pack. Its looks may be unconventional, but it delivers both ergonomics and accuracy traditionally prized by hunters, shooters, and survivalists. Chiapa Excalibur The M6 Excalibur is a combo gun modeled after the M6 air crew survival weapon, a rifle which was designed and manufactured by Springfield Armory and which remained in service of the USAF since the early 1950s through the 1970s before it was replaced by the AR-7. The Excalibur is capable of firing 12 different calibers and is one of the most popular bug-out bag rifles out there. It's a double-trigger over-under weapon featuring a 3-inch 12-gauge shotgun on top and a 22 lr rifle 18.5-inch barrel underneath it. It's highly compact, more so when folded, and it has an overall length of 34.5 inches. The Excalibur weighs 5.6 pounds, making it easy to carry and handle. The ability to fire a multitude of calibers makes this gun ready for a wide range of scenarios and conditions. Whether it's hunting, self-defense, or anything in between, the Excalibur can provide you with the tools for the job. The gun fires with double triggers and has dual extractors. With a fiber optic front sight and an adjustable rear sight, it's relatively accurate and on point. The rails provide the option of adding accessories and optics, which can be quite useful to say the least. Some would call it an ugly gun, but even they would agree that when in need, appearance hardly matters. It is, without a doubt, the most versatile rifle on our list. And that wraps up our video of the best survival rifles. As we've seen, survival rifles can vary widely in their capabilities, features, weight, and price. You may prefer one that's good at everything, but great at nothing. Or you may want to double down on your rifle's strengths. Whichever way you decide to go, always train well and often for the specific kinds of survival situations you expect to encounter.